What's up weirdos and welcome back to another frosty day of horror. That was terrible. That was terrible. I should cut that out. Today we're talking about Jack Frost from 1997, which came out the year before the other Jack Frost I used to watch a ton as a kid. Why did they make this so confusing for us? I don't know. So I'll go ahead and say I didn't love this movie. It's sort of fun, but it's not that great. It's basically about this maniac murderer that gets turned into a snowman and then goes on another killing spree. He says a lot of silly puns while he kills people and with a lot of really bad practical effects. Now let's talk about what I did like. I loved how 90s the movie was, especially this kid's haircut. Yeah. That's very 90s. I also found most of the deaths pretty fun, but I'll cover those in the spoilers. Now for what I didn't like, and the first thing that annoys me to no end is that the snowman on the poster is not the snowman in the movie. And I do not understand this marketing. Someone explain it to me. The snowman in the movie looks terrible. He literally looks like he's clearly made out of like felt or foam or something. He can barely make facial expressions. It's just like so dumb and not scary at all. Okay, and now the acting. It's bad. What more can I say? And the last thing I really didn't like I'm gonna save for the spoilers, but also just like one weird thing, this is so random, but there's a scene where all these cops come to like the main family's house and they're all wearing jackets that say sheriff and I'm just like, how many sheriffs can there be in this town? Like that doesn't make any sense. But there's a lot of things in this movie that don't make sense, so like, why am I bothering to tell you this? Okay, let's go ahead and get to the rating so I can actually get to the spoilers. I feel like that's what I'm always waiting for in these videos. I'm just like, blah, 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 ratings, spoilers. So for the scare, it gets it too. It was not scary. It was, I mean, there was some fun deaths, but overall not very scary. Gore gets like a two. There's some blood, but it's like badly done and a little sad. Cheese gets a five for all the bad snowman puns. Though they were a little bit funny, there was just so many of them. And overall, sorry guys, this movie gets a two for me. I know this is a cult favorite, and maybe it's one of those movies that gets better the more times you watch it. But for me, it wasn't funny enough to be a horror comedy, and it wasn't scary enough to be a standalone horror movie. So I was just sort of like, meh. Okay, now let's get to the spoilers. <laughs> My favorite death was this lady, I kind of forget who she was, but she had the best death to me and that's the snowman bashing her face into a box of ornaments and then decorating the tree with her dead corpse. I thought that was pretty smart and you know, festive. The stupidest death for me was the snowman raping that girl and then slamming her head against the wall. I just thought it was so stupid and unnecessary and just like an excuse to have a naked girl in the movie and I was just like, dumb. And now for the biggest thing in this movie that makes no sense to me that while I was watching, I was just like, come on. Okay, so they find out that antifreeze is the way to defeat this really dumb looking snowman. And so they basically trap it in a giant truck full of antifreeze. And then there's still this leftover arm that grabs the kid. They take the kid and start dunking him in the antifreeze. And he's like clearly like swallowing it and it's going up his nose and all this stuff. And I'm just like, is no one gonna call poison control? Like, probably not, but this kid's like, we're supposed to believe this kid's like, totally fine. And first of all, we found this out because the kid puts antifreeze in these like, weird oat globs for his dad, because he was like, I don't want you to get cold. And it's just like, wait, you stupid kid. Like, come on, like, you're so dumb. Like, parents, why didn't you teach him that you shouldn't be eating antifreeze? I'm just saying, I hope he was grounded for that. Okay, and that's it, y'all. Overall, I didn't love this movie, obviously, but if you really like it, tell me why below, and if anyone's seen the second one, also let me know how that was. I'm curious. It's called Jack Frost 2, Revenge of the Mutant Killer Snowman, and on that note, I'll just say I'll see you tomorrow, and have a nice scream. Bye!